10 affordable beauty products that I simply cannot live without. That is the subject of today's video. Hello everyone, I'm so happy that you decided to join me for this video. This is a video that I saw Lisa J and Nikki do. It's a great video. It's one that is kind of inspiring because for me, they're products that either I use every day or they're products that I've used for a very long time. And I decided to break them down into two categories. One is drugstore or end affordable, and the other one is luxury or more high end. So that other video will be coming very soon, 10 luxury products that I simply cannot live without. So watch out for that. And finally, the long anticipated announcement of the five no, not five, six winners of our giveaway is going to be shared with you today. I'm gonna to do that later on in the video, so you're gonna to have to watch to see all of the winners. So before we get started, I always like to tell you what I have on because I get asked every time what I have on. This t-shirt is a ruched sleeve, cap sleeve, t-shirt it's quite lightweight so great for spring going on into summer it actually has a square neckline which i really love it also hits about mid hip and it's pretty true to size i have on a medium today and that's pretty true to size i also have on some really cute dragonfly set of earrings and necklace which i will list and link for you as well as all the makeup i have on which is between these two videos the fingernails the rings everything will be listed and linked below if it is available for you so the 10 products that i can't live without that i use every day that are my staples in my routine they are in no particular order it's not like a countdown or anything like that so let's just get going on it first of all i want to tell you that this particular lipstick from flower beauty is what i do have on today over a lip liner which the lip liner will be listed and linked below now this is a flower beauty petal pout lipstick these lipsticks to me could pass off as a charlotte tilbury lipstick or Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, these could be luxury lipsticks all the way. This one right here is called Naked Blush. I picked this to be in this video because it's one that is so universal for me. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing, when I'm wearing it, what event I'm going to, this is a neutral lipstick that looks fantastic on just about anybody's lips. Now, I will show you it swatched right here as well as that I am wearing it, but it's just a really beautiful medium rose toned color. It's one of those colors when you put it on, it doesn't matter what other makeup you have on or whether outfit you have on or colors, it really does go with just about everything. And that's why I love it particularly. Also the formula of these are creamy and they're a little bit on the satin matte side, but this particular color in the Naked Blush has to be my all time favorite. And I've gone through several tubes of this. I really love this one. Now over top of that lipstick is my second product that I'll share with you. And this is from the Sephora collection. And I put this in here because it's about the same price as just about every drugstore lip gloss. But for me, this is the one that I reach for over and over again. Countless tubes of this have gone on my lips. This one is the Outrageous Plump Lip Gloss from the Sephora collection. And this one is in sparkling pink. Now this color particularly, the, the formula is fantastic. So you get that plumping, cooling effect. It's just a nice, really hydrating, kind of a medium thickness. You know, it's not too thick, but it's not so thin that it's going to go away really quickly. But I love the little reflex that this has in it. It just has this really pretty shine in it. And hopefully you're going to be able to see that. But on top of the Naked Blush lipstick from Flower Beauty, it is just magical and so pretty. This lip gloss is just one of those ones that is just a great formula and looks great on the lips. Now, interestingly enough, I did decide to put one hair product in this lineup and it was because I use this every other day, no matter what, I'm putting this hair growth tonic or serum on my scalp and you can see that it has a really nice sprayer so that when it goes on your scalp it's going to reach through your hair and it's going to go right directly onto your scalp and the other thing about this is i absolutely love how this has regrown my hair and if you've been with me any amount of time last year i had two surgeries that were fairly back to back and i lost a lot of hair and my hair has come back so nicely and i attribute it to not only the things i'm taking internally but what i'm doing with this product right here this product is from derma factory it's called the anti-hair loss scalp tonic 
strengthen scalp care sebum control and cooling and it is all of those you're going to get your scalp clean it's going to help strengthen the hair that you already have and it's going to help stimulate your scalp i do this and i use one of those silicone brushes that massages the scalp i do it every other day on my hair before I go to bed and then I'm gonna get up and wash my hair the next morning and it just is wonderful. Now this will tell you to use it every day, but I have found that I don't need to use it every day. I can use it every other day and still get those growth benefits. This is not one of those products that you're going to use and then when you stop using it, you're gonna lose the benefits of it and start losing your hair and your hair, hair gets weaker or falls out. It's not like that. Whatever you've accumulated, even if you stop using this, you're going to keep that because it has a lot of natural ingredients in it and it has some great technology in it as well. It's really saved my hair and I really love it. Another product that I have loved for a very long time, and this is not my first tube, and if you've been with me, you've heard about this before, the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup and Skin Care Primer complex infused with b5 and hyaluronic acid this is one of the best primers i've ever used on my very mature skin and the reason is is because not only does it smooth but it hydrates really does even out my complexion without drying me out it, there is nothing matte about this it just makes your foundation look so smooth because it is filling in the pores and for me the fine lines and to have that little bit of added skincare benefit is just a great bonus i really love the way this looks i have put this in a dupes video for the new hourglass i don't remember exactly what the name of that primer is but it is almost identical dupe to the way that it performs and its consistency in that hourglass product so this revlon primer oh it's aces it's just absolutely fantastic i also did put in this video a naturium product that really i feel like has saved my skin going into menopause because what happened was my skin got so sensitive as I got further and further into menopause that I wasn't able to use the prescription tretinoin. So this is a ret retinaldehyde, which is a, quite a bit stronger than a retinol with an O. This is the cream serum 0.10%. This is a gel serum that sinks in so quickly and you can use this every day. It's that lovely. And for me, like I said, it was a savior because as I could not use Trentinoin, I really knew the technology behind retinols or retin-A's is vital for somebody that has mature skin. And you have to remember that using that helps build collagen. It goes down deep, plumps up your skin, helps push off the old dead skin, and you get youthful looking skin that turns over all the time and you get more plumpness to your skin. It really was a lifesaver for me to find this and I'm so glad that I did and I love the formula of it. it sinks in so very quickly and it's just beautiful. Now one thing that I don't normally ever put in a video like this is an eyeshadow palette but I decided that I was going to put this one in here because of its versatility and because I feel like any woman that buys this is going to fall in love with it and many of you already own this. I know it is the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. I am wearing it today and I am telling you that this palette has been used and abused by me. I've used this thing so many times that a lot of these have some great divots in them. There is a beautiful cream color and a white color in here that will set off just about any look. If you're a mature woman that has crinkly eyelids, but you still like the look of a light color on this inner part of your eyelid, that white right there with whatever over top of it will brighten and make it look so beautiful and the cream i use constantly to put on right after i use my eyeshadow primer to keep eyeshadow primer from creasing it's fantastic and then what you have in here is just a plethora of different shades and tones right here in the center you can see that you're looking at beautiful cool tones you have grays and grayish browns and then over on this side are a little bit warmer colors today i'm wearing a combination of this row right here and then over here you have some neutral colors this is a beautiful very functional very versatile palette you can get very smoky looks in here you can get very natural everyday looks in here go for that beautiful neutral color go for that beautiful cool color look at how gorgeous that gray is 
almost like a concrete color just a beautiful beautiful color the mattes in here are very creamy and very easy to blend and then when you go in here and you work with the metallics you will be absolutely overjoyed at how easy they are to work with i have loved this palette since the day it came out because of how easy and how blendable it is but the versatility versatility of it for being a pretty much neutral toned palette but it's not your basic brown just absolutely love it okay are you ready for all of those winners here we go we're gonna do those right now remember that this is my email right here this is where you're gonna contact me and only contact me if i'm saying your name right now and if you're comment goes up here on the screen because if there's any scammers down there in the comment section we are going to completely ignore them i will not contact you that way you are not a winner unless this comes out of my mouth so here we go first of all is our international winner mari22 this is her picture her username and her comment right here so congratulations to mari next we have hey hey ray ray and this is her picture and her username right here. Now, the reason that we're doing five is not just because of those refer brushes, but I had two of these huge mailers that I was not able to give away in my last giveaway. So, and it wasn't because of not trying, it's just that nobody responded. You have to contact me at this email right here. So two of you are gonna receive this Three of you are going to receive that set of refer brushes. And then our next winner is Pepper6253. This is her username and her picture right here. Congratulations, Pepper. Our next winner is Jane Lifrek. 426. I hope I'm saying that right. This is her username right here. Our next winner is Sina. It's probably not Sina. It's probably Sina. Chandler 6097 that is her picture and her handle right there and then our sixth and final winner is Cindy B 4469 and this is hers right here so that is it everyone I hope that you all respond please respond I really really want to give away these rougher brushes and all of these goodies another product that I had to put into this video because I reach for it over all, all of my other blushes, which is saying a lot because I have, I have three drawers of blushes. Let's just leave it there. But this is the Moira Cream Blush, and this one is in specifically the color I Like You. The reason that I love this is because, again, I can put it on with just about any look I have and it blends in so well. Now this is a little bit more on the pink side, the rosy side, but what a beautiful bright color for summer and spring, isn't it? And I love this formula. A lot of formulas that are the cream blushes, they can be a little bit slick, a little bit too emollient, and then you end up losing your pigment, but boy, that's pigmented. And all of the colors that are in this Moira line with these cream formulas, they are very pigmented. Even though you might be very light colored, you can really sheer this out so that the pigment isn't quite so much. But if you are very deep, you're gonna be able to build that pigment up so that it's there and it's very noticeable. These are gorgeous. This particular color, again, is my favorite that I reach for, and this one stays in my kit doesn't go anywhere. So this is my favorite blush from the drugstore or affordable blush. I absolutely love this one. Also this year came out from e.l.f. Skin, this fantastic Woe Glow sun protection primer type product all in one. This has an SPF of 30, but it also has this gorgeous glow in it. And I'll put it over here since my other hand has all those other colors on it. But what's pretty about this, it comes in, I think, three or four different colors. I have probably the lightest one. This is a beautiful sun-kissed glow underneath your makeup or worn on its own. This is one of the prettiest glows and then you get that sun protection. So think Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter but with sun protection SPF in it. I love how hydrating this is and I love the glow on it. It looks so pretty underneath foundation and underneath makeup. It really is a gorgeous product. And having this as a sunscreen, it really works well. Now this doesn't say that it's a moisturizer, but you might wanna try it in place of your moisturizer because 
it is highly moisturizing it's a gorgeous product and i use it as my moisturizer and my sun protection all in one and my makeup primer so it's kind of skipping a bunch of steps i did a foundation video for you not long ago and i rediscovered how much i love the number seven protect and perfect intense advanced all in one foundation this is the foundation that i have on today and this is probably one of the easiest foundations that I have ever worked with. It is a satin finish, so it's not really matte, but it's definitely not glowy. It's just a very beautiful finish. It also has medium coverage, but it can be built up in places if you need more coverage. But one coat of it really does look beautiful on if you're just looking for a natural everyday look to your skin. Also, this does have an SPF of 50 in it. So if you're interested in the extra protection in that, it's really good for that as well. This quickly became my substitute for the It's CC cream. I like it better because it lays a little bit better on my skin. And although I love the It's CC cream, this likes my pocketbook a little bit better. So this is a beautiful foundation. It's one that has skin loving ingredients in it as well. And it is a very long lasting foundation. I can put it on in the morning and at night it still looks beautiful. So highly recommend this one as well. And then to round everything out for number 10, again, if you've been with me for any amount of time, this these won't come as a surprise, but these are from LA Girl and these are the Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigments. And I talk about these so much and there is a reason. These are phenomenal. If you are somebody that struggles with finding the right color for your foundation, having mix-ins is a must. You need them to be able to color correct. I have a very cool toned complexion. And so many foundations are either yellow or orange and they are impossible to wear. So using the blue in there can correct that over to a cool tone. Just a little bit of it goes a long way. These are a matte product, but they're highly pigmented. So mixing them in just a little bit at a time to start. And then if you happen to pick up foundations that are too dark, you can go ahead and mix in the white. There is also an orange and there's also a yellow. I don't have those because that's not a problem I have. And finding foundations that I need to be more yellow or more orange. But I do know that if you have an olive tone to your skin and you have a very hard time finding a good olive tone one, pick up the yellow, use the blue together, and then you can correct it to your olive tone. It really works well, but these are phenomenal. I have a whole video on it that I will try to remember to put down in the description box so that you can know how to use these as well, but it's so simple and so easy and you will never have to waste your money again on the wrong color foundation. All right, that wraps it up. Those are my 10 can't live without products. A lot of them you've seen on my channel many times, which is good because you know that I love them and how much I love them. And then some of them have become new favorites like the e.l.f. Just phenomenal product. Let me know what some of your can't live without products are. Really, if I lost any of these products, I would go out and pick up these products again so quickly my own head would spin. Thank you again for spending a bit of your time with me today. I know your time is valuable and it means a lot that you choose to spend a little bit of it with me. I hope everybody is doing really well, happy and healthy. Take care of yourselves and please come and see me really soon in my next video.